Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm making this video because I am sick and tired of Java players getting all of the fun. You guys get all the new blocks, the latest snapshots, you get cool new mobs, you get all sorts of cool stuff, whilst over there on Bedrock, where I usually am, we get nothing. So, in this video, I thought that it would be fun to invade Java Edition for a change and mess about with some of the new blocks. We have the Beehive, Bee Nest, Honeycomb, and we have the Honey Bottle. Now, these last two are probably the least versatile, but you might be surprised uh, how much you can actually do with the Beehive and the Bee Nest. Let's have a look around. I mean, I'm deadly serious. I am so salty that you guys get to enjoy these wonderful creatures. Just look at them. Bedrock players, we don't, we, we, we still don't even have foxes. How is that possible? Anyway, saltiness aside, let me show you all of the things that I've put together using the, mainly the beehive and the bee nest. Now, some of these might not be so good. Some of them you might really like. You're just gonna have to take all of them with a pinch of salt, which there is plenty of as we just discovered. So the first thing I want to show you, ladies and gentlemen, is this little slice of a bedroom. Now, this bedroom actually incorporates a few different uses for the new blocks, but first of all, I'm going to focus on the first one and my favorite one. This is a bunk bed slash under bed desk design. So we have the bed up top, of course, we can climb up using the ladders and we have this mock bed. I say mock bed because you can't actually use it. That's a bit of carpet and some snow built up. And underneath it, we have a desk area. Now the desk uses the beehives as ends and this is for a really good reason. If you've noticed, the beehive itself has a little gap in the middle of the hive. It looks like a little slot. Now, this looks like two things to me. Number one, it looks like a drawer or something that one would deposit something into. So it's got plenty of uses there, but it really, really, really looks like those storage boxes that you'd see in an office, like those cardboard boxes. I'll show them up on the screen right now. It looks, to me, identical to those things. So we already, off the bat, have so many uses just knowing those two things that it really, really looks like. So here, we have this little desk. We have one on each end. We have something in the middle. We have a little computer design here. This is a little laptop. We've got some uh, books behind it, even a cute little lantern here too. We have a chair. It kind of looks like an office chair, like it's got the fin part at the bottom and the stand at the bottom as well underneath the fin, uh, the fin leg of it. We have the sides of the chair that kind of like have those cut out pieces and we of course have the back. So it's just a really cool bit of furniture. I'm going to start adding this to my bedrooms. I really love it. And also, we have a bit of a different use for the beehive. It's not an obvious one, but it really does just add a little bit of variety when you make potted plants. I mean, it really does look quite good as just a block that you can put stuff on, basically. It just adds a little bit of variation to the plank repertoire where you might have used a plank instead, you can use the beehive too. It, it just adds a little something to, uh, to builds. It's just a little bit of variance. Here we have the bee nest. Now the bee nest is incredibly versatile as well. This particular use, we are using the top of the bee nest, which is a really colorful, vibrant, interesting looking shape and we are using it as a rug. We can use it completely as a rug, like the rug can be completely made out of using bee nests, or as we'll find out later, you can use it to accent those particular rugs as well. So that's just a really cool few uses. As we move on down, here we have a bit of a sitting room slash relaxing area. Now this is where you rarely see the versatility of the beehive and the bee nest. I'm gonna start off with this table. Like I said over there, the beehive can be used in so many different ways. If you make sure that the hive is placed in such a way that you don't get the gap on the outside, as if you place it towards you, you will see that you get the little bit of a gap. But if you make sure to conceal it by placing it inwards or against something, then you can make a really cool table or shelf or whatever decoration you're looking for. And we have made a coffee table out of it here. Not only that, we've also made a floor out of it. Now, it's interesting in the fact that depending which way you place it, the boards will run a different way. 
So you can go sideways, you can go like long ways like this, and you can even make a mixture of the two if you like. So you can kind of get like this flowing pattern or if you wanted to, you can have just like a straight set of boards. So it's very versatile there. You can use it as a floor and it looks really good. Not only that, you can use it as walls. You can use it as the bottom of a wall or later on you'll see that you can use it as a wall middle as well. But it really does add a cool accent to the wall if you place it correctly. And of course, we're talking about sideways. You want to place it this way, not this way. Unless you want your entire but on the wall to have the little gaps in it, which is perfectly valid as well. We have used the bee nest here to actually make the upper part of the walls, and I honestly really love this. It looks either like some sort of like really nice wallpaper, or it just looks like some sort of fancy stained wood. Either way, I really, really like how it turns out. And if we move through here, we'll see some more examples. A couple of repeat examples, we have another rug in here. Again, it looks great as a rug. It really, really looks nice. Um, if we have a look in this closet here, you can use the beehives as storage. Like if you use it in a closet or a wardrobe or wherever, it does just look like something that one would store something in. So you can use it as the backing of wardrobes. We also have it as the floor as well. Now the floor is a little bit messed up. It's not all flowing the exact same way but you guys get the idea of how it could look. The bee nest does not have to just be used in whole walls or solid walls. You can use it to accent particular parts of furniture, so such as this where we have the bed here, and it's basically just a nice big headboard. And I think they actually looks really, really cool as a headboard. And you can see that we have used the bee hive here to completely fill the wall in, because I wanted to show you guys what it would look like. I personally prefer if the entire wall isn't made up of the beehives. I think that it makes a really good, it either makes a good wall middle or a wall bottom or top. I don't think the entire wall should be that. So for instance, what I mean by that is, I think that if we were to mess with the bee nests, if we basically reverse what we have there, I think it looks a lot better as an accent block um, rather than just like being a whole entire wall. But that's just my personal opinion. As we move down here, we have another good example of where the beehives do really excel. <laughs> We're in an office. <laughs> Microsoft Excel. Anyway, we have a really good example of where the hives excel in furniture that should have drawers. So here we have just a bit of a larger desk. It fits really well in an office. Many desks in offices, of course, have storage. So that's exactly what it's quite good for here. Not only that, it works so well as a filing cabinet. I love it as a filing cabinet. It looks awesome. I wish that it had like a grey variation that would look insane. But basically, this this is so easy to put together, right? So all we have here is it's dead, dead simple. Uh, you stack a few beehives next to each other. I'd make sure that you've got at least two rows. Um, you, If you want an open drawer like we do here, then you simply place like a, uh, you place like a bottom to the drawer. I like trap doors. And then you place, if you hold shift, I found that that helps. Um, you can place these signs all the way around the bottom or, or all the way around the trapdoor and it looks like an open drawer. I'd use oak and spruce because I think that it really, really goes together. I mean, the oak sign and it, it's almost an identical shade to uh, the actual beehive. So if you really, really, really want to hit it home and show people what this is supposed to look like, you can incorporate some item frames and some paper and stuff. So it just looks really cool as a filing cabinet. And this is going to be a good example. Here we are. If we move through this door here, this is kind of like a stock slash storage room here. They look like stacked boxes that you would keep like papers and files and stuff in. They look so good. I mean, th they don't even need these other blocks here. Like seriously, like you don't even need them. They, they just look perfect all stacked together. They look so great. Um, this is an isolated uh, plant that we have earlier. I thought that would be kind of cool to show it off all just by itself, really. And again, like it's basically all it is is instead of using just like a block like this, like you can really just like, you know, mix it up a little bit using the hives. Now, this is just like a little bit of a bench. 
it's honestly a little bit... <laughs> I, I don't know why I made this exactly. I think that I was just trying to use it in everything. And you, you'll see some examples of later when I really... I go off the rails a little bit, okay? If you think that all any any of these have been a little bit, like, weird, you j just wait until later. It is going to get insane around here. So... Uh, I think that it may, basically, it's just another example of where you might use uh, any sort of other plank. It also fits. The beehive does. Like, I'd, you'd probably want to place it like sideways like that, but it it fits as an end to a seat or a bench or, you know, whatever you want to use it as. As we move into here, this is just another good example of how you can use the beehives to accent the bottom of a room, uh, a wall in a room. Um, we have looms. <laughs> we have a room of looms. Welcome to the Loom Emporium. I hope that you enjoy looms. So this is beehives and we have looms. I just happen to think that they go together quite nicely. And we just have another example of a desk, but in a slightly bit of a different design. It's very versatile. Um, as we move down here. Oh, this is a showcase of where you can use them in a little bit of a modern building as well. So, modern builds, obviously, they have a set sort of material list. Quite often the concretes, um, white, grey, black, um, various colours of planks, maybe, but mostly it's just like dual tones of concrete. Well, you can use them, you can use the vibrant blocks such as bee nest to create a rug in a room, and it really just pulls the whole thing together, like where it was just kind of like a little bit dank and boring, um, we, we, you can just pull it together with bee nests. I think it looks really, really nice. Uh, another room, and this is another good example of blocks that go together. Birch wood, stripped birch wood as well, and the beehive. I mean, as a wall, I really, really love that. Anyway, in my pursuit to try and use the be beehive in every single build that I've ever made. Um, a little chair. I actually think it looks quite good. It looks like one of those chairs that you like pull out from the bottom and then you'd sit on. Um, I've also used it here as well, like just to kind of, it, it just looks like something that slots into a bookcase, pretty much. I think that that's a pretty, it, it, it just makes the bookcase look a little bit more interesting. Um, honestly, you'd probably set them like one row backwards so that it looked like an empty spot, or you can just kind of put them there if you like. I think it looks all right. Um, what else do we have? Well, we have a few different uses for the bee nest here as well. Earlier, I mentioned that you can use the bee nest as either like a rug itself or you can use it to accent a rug. Now, I happen to think that this looks really, really cool. This looks like the kind of rug that would be in a really rich person's study. You know the kind of person that wears those like weird red coats and they smoke cigars and they're kind of like, oh yes, the government. Those kinds of people would have a rug like this and I think it looks really, really cool. Uh, a couple of different examples of lighting using the bee nest as well. Typically speaking with lights, I like double end rod and a terracotta, but um, the bee nest just adds a bit of variation. And for some reason, I, I think that I, I quite like this design as well. I don't usually put the fence on the bottom, but um, it, it just adds a little something different. Anybody else uh, seeing a Hercules beetle here, by the way? I've literally never noticed that before ever. It's either that or a one-eyed rabbit, I don't know. Anyway, uh, a decoration that I like to use quite often, dragon egg, looks like the bottom of a lamp, and then I usually use a terracotta block, a glazed terracotta, but um, the humble bee nest, I think, uh, looks quite nice too. Now, moving on down, I did mention that things were going to start getting a little crazier, and th this isn't even peak crazy, ladies and gentlemen. So what we have here is I've used a mixture of the loom, and the beehive, and I've created a wall, or a set of walls, for a little house here. I happen to think that this actually looks really, really cool. And we get a good example, if we walk in here, you get a good example of how we have a little bit of a nest area, we have a bit of a rug area, but here we go. The bee nest is a really good roof material. It looks really cool as a roof. So that's basically what the bottom, if we destroy one here, this is what the bottom of the bee nest looks like. I really, really like it. So it's it's basically just another wood block. Instead of using your planks, that, that's basically, it, this block is such a good substitute for oak planks or any sort of planks. It's a really, really interesting, varied textured block. I'd love more blocks like this because it, it, you can use them in in so many different ways. Really like it as the ceiling, and I quite like it as the walls as well. It's a very fancy looking house, that one. Now, we're going to 
move away from this row here because this is a completely uh, a completely different animal over here. All right. So I thought to myself, can you make vehicles out of it? The answer is yes. I actually do quite like them. So. This is pretty much my standard motorcycle. I, I quite often build a city, I do it on stream, and I like to like fill the city up with vehicles and stuff. So I have a, a few stock vehicles that I thought would look interesting with a uh, with a different uh, a bit of a different spin. So this is a motorcycle, and the colorful block that would usually be there has simply been replaced with a bee nest. I think it looks really, really cool. What I really like, and I like... Uh, I don't know whether this is the correct word. Irony? I like the the fun of this. This is... It, doesn't it kind of look like Bumblebee from Transformers? And funnily enough, we're using the bee nest blocks. <laughs> it's, it's a little bit meta, I think. But basically, this is like a, a sports car or a sporty kind of car. Um, we've used the bee nest instead of the usual yellow wool blocks. And we've created... A bee nest bumblebee from transporter from, from transport transporters. What the, I'm malfunctioning. This is driving me crazy. From transformers in Minecraft. I think that this looks really, really cool. Actually, I think it looks really, really interesting. It doesn't look as good without the carpet on there, but I think that you've transformed a what could just be like a, a cool car anyway. But you've kind of just. So, you know, you've, like, turned it up a notch by using the bee nest. I really, really like it. And, of course, the fun, just the fun of, like, bumblebee made out of bee nest. I, I love it. Now, here is kind of like a common truck design that I like to use. So, trucks, of course, like the, the cab part of the truck, the driving part of the truck, I mean, I, I usually keep those the same. But, the back portion, you can pretty much do whatever you want with, because it's it's just an incredibly versatile, just big, uh, big chunk of blocks. And, in this occasion, I've decided to make the top of the back part of the truck, the cargo part, um, out of bee nests. And I think that it looks really, really cool. And, of course, this could actually be carrying, like, honey or, you know, whatever you wanted it could even have bees imagine if imagine if i was smart enough to actually just put a load of bees in there like ready for this video i'm not okay so they're all the vehicles I, I think that they're really fun i don't know whether practically you'd use them but uh, the motorcycle at the very least and probably the truck i mean you could use those um in your own worlds and they wouldn't look so silly now here we are on to the sensible uses for the beehives and the bee nests. So this is just a standard tree with a bee nest in it. This is probably, you know, what you imagine when uh, the blocks got released. It's like a bee nest. Oh, that'd be cool to add to trees. You don't expect to make vehicles out of them. So I think that, that it just enhances a tree. It just looks cool. Um, these are your kind of standard, um, like, man-made beehives. You know those beekeepers, like, keep all of the bees in, like, the little man-made beehives, like, in the middle of a field or whatever, and they wear those big white suits? Well, basically, that's what, uh, these, these are for, pretty much. So, um, that's just a scaffolding bee nest on top, trap door. This is one on the ground, just a trap door on top. This is a variation of that where, I mean, if, if you've ever been uh, been to places where, like, bees are, like, sometimes they keep them, like, behind glass and stuff, and uh, you can kind of see them going about their business, and that's basically just, like, a big, uh, a big decoration. Like, you'd probably put that behind something or somewhere. So, over here is a good example of what you could actually do in your survival worlds to really spruce up a house or a particular section of your world because I think that this is a really cool bit of decoration. Basically what we have here is just a nice little fenced off area, it's looking all fancy and that, but this is where we would keep the bees, like out in a field somewhere where the beekeepers keep the bees, you know we have a few different designs here for the actual beehives. I know that these are bee nests but I, I like how the nest looks instead of the beehive, but you could even actually use the beehives too uh, if you wanted them to be functional and the bees could of course uh, store themselves in there and we even have like a little beekeeper suit here in the corner I, I just think it it really just adds a little something and of course you wouldn't have to make it so square but like you could just add it to the back garden of somewhere if you wanted to keep yourself some bees as we move on down here are some more ideas for storage so basically this is just a set of shelves and it, this is just another example of how beehives look like boxes and going one step further 
as we will down there. Um, this is what I was talking about earlier, right at the start of the video when I said the beehive looks like something that one would put something into. So, like, you know at, like, post offices and sometimes banks and stuff where you don't have to, like, go inside the place to actually, like, post a letter or whatever? I like the idea that this is kind of just like a, a drop-in box of some sort of description. We've got a little trap door there, so, like, you'd flip that down, chuck that in, and then flip that back up. Um, similar sort of idea here, really. So this is a post box. Um, you'd probably have like a sign saying the times for the post box and all of that if you wanted to role play a bit, but it kind of just looks like a survivally related post box. This is something that you would put outside of your house, I think. I think that this would look quite good. Um, we have uh, basically, again, it's just like a somebody's mailbox, pretty much. And of course, you flip that down, put the mail in. You can't actually put it in, you've got to pretend a little bit. Now, taking those shelves idea, I know that this is a bit muddled, but taking those shelves to this, this is what I have in mind. Like, they, they look so good in a storage room. So, like, whether it be a warehouse or an office storage area or just a storage area in general, the beehives just look so good as, like, cardboard boxes. They look just good, like, built up in an, in, in the middle uh, or in the corner of an area, you know? They they really do just kind of, like, enhance things a little bit. Whereas before, we have, like, shulker boxes and wood, which looks all right and all of that, and we have, you know, chests and stuff. It just adds to, like, a stock room or a storage area, and uh, I think that they look really good interspersed between scaffolding to. So, of course, you know, in a, in a different sort of uh, environment, you know, you could build this higher, you could make it more asymmetrical if you wanted to, to kind of like enhance the uh, building look, but I, I really like that anyway. Uh, now, here, we have a whole mix match of how you can use all these materials. So, I, I kind of wanted to, in some way, incorporate the honey potion, or is it the honey pot, the honey bottle, and I wanted to incorporate the honeycomb as well. So, basically, this is kind of like a little, like, bee-themed kitchen. It's actually really, really cozy in here. And it uses beehives as kind of like storage, kind of like shelves, kind of like cabinets. We have the honey bottles here as kind of like this is what you would drink. We have the brewing stands, the cup, and the dispenser. We have a, uh, a beehive again as kind of like a storage box. We even use it for the floor here too. We have bee nests as kind of like uh, the middle of the floor to kind of like accent it. It's actually, this is kind of like the reverse of the really fancy man's rug over there. It's kind of like the reverse of that. And uh, we have the bee nest for the walls too, which I think looks really, really cool. And of course we have the honeycomb as somebody's dinner. Somebody's eating that. I would love to eat it myself. It actually looks delicious. And that, ladies and gentlemen, that is the second to last thing that I'm going to show you. Okay, guys, I only have one more thing to show you. It's a little bit crazy though, all right? What we are going to do now is we are going to leave reality and we are going to enter Beality. Let me show you. Welcome to the House of Bees. Honestly, I wasn't quite sure I'd be able to make a good looking survival house out of all of the bee blocks. I think I was wrong. I think that this actually looks quite cool. I'd give it a B plus. So, the outside of the house mostly features a lot of bee nest. I've used that as wall filler. I've also used a bit of stripped dark oak log to build up the corners of the house to create contrast. I've used a lot of birch stairs and slabs and spruce stairs and maybe even some spruce slabs too to build up the roof again for contrast. But let me tell you guys something. If they made beehive stairs and beehive slabs, you'd best believe that I would have used those. And we have used the beehives. It's kind of like a little chimney design here, just to the right. <laughs> we've used it as a bit of a chimney design. I actually happen to think it looks kind of cool. Uh, we've, we've took this one step further in the fact that we've kind of like put a whole like bees nest out in the front garden. <laughs> 
and we kind of have like one here just in the tree and kind of it's like natural environment. We've stuck to kind of like the pale color of the birch fence and we've used yellow flowers because we're a little bit crazy. Uh, if we go inside of the house, you'll see, oh, it's so cozy, I love it. We've <laughs> we have used beehive as the floor. We have a little bit of color using bee nest. We have bee nest as the ceiling too. I, that looks so cool. We have gold armor. We have yellow beds. We have, uh, we even have some brown curtains to kind of like uh, go with like the whole bee vibe. We have, um, we have an entire survival house uh, made out of bee related stuff, ladies and gentlemen. And honestly, I really actually like it. I, I think that it looks really, really cool in here. I think it looks really, really cozy. And I can't really top myself from this point. This is um, this is the pinnacle of bee building, and I think that you guys might agree. That's all I've got for you. I really enjoyed making this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching it. If you did, please do consider subscribing to the channel if you did enjoy this video, and click that little bell to make sure that you get all of my videos sent directly to your sub box. The most fun part of this video for me was either showcasing the house at the end or showcasing the vehicles. I'm not quite sure which is the most interesting use of the new blocks, but if you do have something in particular that you really liked seeing, let me know down there in the comment section because I had an absolute blast putting this video together and it's not something that I usually get to do because, as you guys know, I play Bedrock and we never get this stuff on time. I'm not sure Bedrock will ever see bees, so... With all that being said, thank you so much for watching, everybody. I love you all very much. I think it's time for me to buzz off. Goodbye!